This is Mission Control Houston. Good morning. Today is September 28th, 2019. You're getting a live look at the HTV-8 currently in the uh, uh, grapple at the end of the Canada Arm 2, which is in motion, pushing it towards its uh, berthing port, where it will remain for the next month. We're watching live the installation of HTV-8 uh, to the International Space Station's Nader Port of Harmony. That's the Earth-facing side of the module at the very forward end of the space station. Currently, the arm is in motion, getting pushed closer to that uh, common berthing mechanism. These are part of incremental movements to bring the HTV in for a uh, berthing today. This is a view from the common berthing mechanism of the International Space Station, uh, looking down at the HTV coming in. The International Space Station itself and the HTV at the end of the Canada Arm 2 are currently in an orbital nighttime. Space Station 257 statute miles over the middle of the Pacific Ocean on a southeastern course. Right now, the uh, Canada Arm 2 holding its position. Again, these are incremental movements to bring the HTV closer in for the uh, for the installation of the vehicle to that uh, common berthing mechanism. There'll be a few more steps. Uh, first, they'll get that final push into the common berthing mechanism. Once it gets pushed in, there are several uh, ready-to-latch indicators. There are four, to be uh, precise. Once it gets pushed in, um, and all four of those latches are greenlit, that will be the first stage of the capture. Second stage is when those latches actually bring the vehicle into uh, closer to the common berthing mechanism. Visible from this view, again, there will be some uh, robotic maneuvers to, to push it into the common berthing mechanism, but visible here, uh, the, the part, portion of the cargo vehicle that is closest to the station is the pressurized portion. Accessible from the inside of the station, they can open it up and reveal 5,000 pounds of cargo that are part of that pressurized logistics carrier. You can see the exploded view here on the left side. Now that unpressurized portion is at the center of the vehicle, and there's a pallet inside that contains six lithium-ion batteries and six adapter plates to go with those batteries that are part of a, a pallet. That pallet, from the view of the International Space Station, you can actually see it's exposed. Uh, you see at the very top of the screen there. And that arm is in motion. We have a good final push so far. Again, this is that final movement to get it uh, pushed into the common berthing mechanism to light up those ready-to-latch indicators. There's four of them. All four of them have to be green-lit to uh, proceed with the final installation of HTV to the common berthing mechanism of uh, this module, the Harmony module. Now that motion is uh, holding. We're waiting for final confirmation that the ready-to-latch indicators are greenlit and we can proceed with the installation. Currently where the uh, HTV is being installed on the Nader side, but operations are continuing normally so far. We do have four uh, ready-to-latch indicators, so that would be uh, the completion of the first stage of capture. Again, there's a next series of um, procedures to secure HTV to the Harmony module. Now that the ready-to-latch indicators are greenlit, it'll actually be driving those four latches uh, to pull in the vehicle to uh, the common berthing mechanism. And then 16 bolts, uh, that'll be the completion of uh, second stage capture. And then 16 bolts will drive to uh, secure the vehicle to the International Space Station.
And we do have confirmation that uh, second stage capture is complete and the 16 bolts uh, that are securing HTV to the International Space Station have been driven and are complete. The final installation of HTV was completed at 9.09 .09 a.m. Central Time. The space station itself was flying 269 statute miles over the South Atlantic Ocean just east off the coast of Argentina.